So I'm not sure if I remembered to remind anybody or myself that you should be disinfecting the derma roller. Oh, that's my hair. Doesn't that look creepy? It's like a centipede. You should be disinfecting your derma roller about every single time that you use it. Soak it in some 70% isopropyl alcohol. And yeah, look at that. 1.5. We're gonna be doing this again. Get excited. Woo -woo. Do not use this immediately. Okay, just calm down. It's not gonna get like grosser the more it sits out in the open. Like just let it chill. You do not wanna do you see these little droplets still on there? That's alcohol. You do not want to stab your face with needles and then put alcohol inside of them. You dumb. Oh my god, that's gonna go on my face. You know what I'm wondering? Is it supposed to make me bleed? So am I not doing it hard enough? I heard you're not supposed to actually press this that hard in your skin though. Um, yeah. I'm not educated and I'm doing this to myself, so. Let me know, estheticians. You threw out. Cheers. My gross bacteria infected phone. Oh, I missed that sound. It's probably gonna gross everyone out. I always am just completely naked when I do this stuff. Shouts out to the feedback I got after my first video. I am lifting, lifting this after every little set. I'm so pissed I got this <laughs> bunk one that squeaks. But I'm lifting it so I'm not going straight um, to the like next section, like dragging it because apparently that creates micro tears in the skin. Hashtag walnut scrub. So yeah, I don't know if I'm supposed to make myself bleed or not. I'm pressing it in, okay? This literally doesn't hurt that bad. You see? See how red that just got? I'm thinking of being nicer, at least in my videos, or acting like I'm nicer, because, oh my gosh, look at my smile lines. I mean, you can tell I'm a smiling bitch, right? I smile so much. Not even 30, and look at these lines, honey. I don't want to look back in like 20 or 30 years at this capsule of memories and go, God, I was awful. So I will try to be nicer, because I don't like watching people on YouTube that are like, what my personality is naturally <laughs> like i like people that are more positive and nice and have a good impact on the world and are you know just better people oh my god i'm so unattractive <laughs> i'm gonna be nicer right nicer to myself too i literally don't mean anything i say in these videos i have great self-confidence would i get plastic surgery if given the opportunity, um, probably, but not on my face, like structurally, I would get laser for these scars, but like I'm not unhappy with anything else in my face. This is just, this is so hard, oh my god, this is gross fix, I'm just kidding. I wouldn't get a, you know, maybe I would get a new shop. I mean, look, this angle certainly isn't helping. I mean, look, I'm looking at a mirror certainly isn't helping. Maybe when I'm like 40 or 50, I would get a facelift, but I wouldn't do too much because I don't want that plastic surgery face. You know what I mean? That obviously got Botox face. I'd rather have an ugly face that's my face than have a... Botox face. Because you know what? That's not even cute. It's not even cute, the surgery face. I'm going to be honest. I mean, I'm no props to you if you get it. I'm not going to talk shit about you because you can't change it. So I'm not going to make you feel bad about it. But I personally do not think that is a look. I wouldn't be mad with maybe in my 30s getting a little, a little bobble job, a little boob job. You know what I mean? I would not mind going like a half cup bigger as Jackie Ina said a pregnancy breast thing she got like a breast breast augmentation recently i think and you know i think she's in her early 30s right she said like she just wanted them to be fuller and that's what i want just like a half cup bigger you know so like i don't have to fluff them up for my nudes today i i went to my gynecologist 
this is really good news because it's so you know people always complain about oh medicare is gonna make lines to get seen even longer blah 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 like you don't have to wait one or two months to see a gynecologist or like i do maybe just the gynecologist i see is super popular but i have to like i tried to schedule an appointment they called me and it was going to be in may at the end of may but i didn't know what my schedule was like i had summer school and i knew i would be in class at that time and summer school is like six weeks really intensive and there was no way i was missing a day of it because i was really nervous about passing ochem and i did <laughs> i was nervous at the time so i didn't want to miss it so i asked them okay um is there a chance that i can reschedule it and they're like yeah sure the next opening um is <laughs> july 31st okay i guess i'll take it and then i ran into traffic and i i was 15 minutes late to that appointment i was so scared that i had to reschedule it again but i got seen thank you and i didn't get a pap smear like i thought i was gonna get i got a pelvic exam and another thing to make to see if i had like gonorrhea or chlamydia and you know i'm with the same person that i have been since the last time i got tested so i'm not worried about it but like <laughs> the gynecologist was joking around with me like oh but if we'll, we'll give you a call if you get it and you know if you do get it i'll be like oh you won't be my boyfriend anymore right <laughs> You know, I'm joking about it now, but if that actually does come back positive, like, I will be pretty devastated. But I just got the pelvic exam, and I don't ever remember it being so rough. I was like, geez, like, it was a little uncomfortable the first time I got it, but I was like, whatever, you know, I've taken taken some bigger cylinders in my life. <laughs> geez, like, I don't know, maybe it's because my boyfriend's been gone for a few months. I haven't been, and I lost my vibrator so i haven't been getting much action in there you know what i mean the way that the shadow is on my face really can let you see how bad it is i'm just doing the up and down like side to side i'm not doing crisscross because once again i heard it doesn't really do anything i'm not really getting in here see like i scrunch up my face so much that like like that you can really see those lines so this it's not gonna do anything about that though it's too late only Botox can save me now. Botox, you're my only hope. Save me. That's enough. I have a vitamin C serum that I just got off Amazon, and I'm so I'm not sure if this is actually any good. I hear it ships to you the vitamin C serum in a bottle that is exposed to light, then you pretty much destroy the I don't know the potency of it or like the effectiveness of it or even the vitamin C itself. It's kind of an a clear, a transparent bottle a little bit, so I'm sure it's not that legit. But I'm using it because I bought it and I'm hoping it's at least a little bit potent and effective. We used to put like glass milk bottles, right, and have it delivered to everyone's door, like in the past, in our parents' generation even. Um but we stopped doing that. We started putting them in cartons and things that are a little, what do you call it, more opaque because there's riboflavin in milk and we were losing that in the milk when it was exposed to sunlight. So a little fun fact. Anyways, uh, yeah, I just put on some vitamin C serum and then later on I'll put on a moisturizer or something really simple. And that's it. So thank you for joining me for my second video. It was a little more TMI. A little chatty. You know, those squeaks really made me loosen my brain. Made me go a little crazy. So, oh my god, there's a flea on my leg. Did I... I don't know why it's so hard to focus on this. It's because it's not bright enough. You know, from this angle, it just looks like my whole carpet is full of fleas. Anyways, believe me when I say that that is a flea. Oh my gosh, that's not even a flea. That wasn't a flea. I'm so stupid it wasn't a flea. Now there should be some results, something a little noticeable after doing this three times. So I will do this actually two more times for a total of four sessions. Um, and maybe within three months, I will update with the before photo that I took and see if there was any improvement there. Uh, I just wanted to thank you for watching. And subscribing is always optional. Choose wisely.